I will never own my own company and I will never be rich. Now, a lot of you listening may be thinking to yourself, man, that's sad to hear. But the fact is, I'm perfectly okay with that. Sure, I'd like to have a nice cushion in my bank account and money for retirement, should I make it to that point, and be able to take vacations to beautiful exotic beaches and have nice things. But the fact is, I'm just not built for being a business owner. I grew up in my dad's machine shop. I spent a lot of hours at the shop with him, especially during summers, which I loved. I got to watch him building dies and tools, some of which were really impressive even as a child. I remember looking at this big progressive die he had built and thinking, wow, my dad is one bad dude. But there were so many times I watched him struggle. As a business owner with employees on payroll and a family to provide for, there were so many times that checks from customers didn't come when they were expected to, times where he had spent hundreds of hours making parts only for a customer to declare bankruptcy before he got paid, problems with employees, problems with material, problems with partners, problems with machines. He even moved his shop from Chicago to Texas for his biggest customer that promised tons of work, and just a couple months after moving here, that company went out of business. He was always stressed, and I remember overhearing conversations about us possibly losing our home, among other things. My father declared bankruptcy himself once, had a couple very bad partnerships, and it was really sad to watch because my dad was such a solid, smart, hardworking, fair guy. But as I watched this take a toll on him over the years, I realized that was not the life I wanted for myself. Sure, it's possible that my experience would have been totally different, but I just can't bring myself to take that risk. So instead of starting my own company, I resolved to work for people that are willing to take that risk. I know that no matter what happens, I have very little risk of losing everything I own. If the company I work for goes out of business, I can most likely find another job within a couple of weeks. If a customer doesn't pay on time, I still get my paycheck. Now and then, I've heard employees at different places complaining about the fact that the owner makes so much more money and has a nice boat or nice house or car, and it isn't fair because they barely scrape by. But it is so important to realize that the owner is the one carrying all the risk. And because he mitigates the risk for all of his employees, he is the one that deserves the bulk of the reward. Sure, a great owner will share his success with his team, but he isn't required to. We agreed to work for a certain wage, and that's that. Because I can appreciate the fact that I get to live my life with very little risk of financial ruin, I go to work every day and really try to do the absolute best that I can to make the company more profitable. I can handle stress at work all day long, but I'm just not the type of guy that can cope with stress 24 hours a day at home and at work. I see some of my dad and every owner I've ever known, and that makes it a little easier for me to see things clearly. And in most cases, but not all, the company usually remembers my efforts as the company starts making more money. This leads to better opportunities as well. The point is, if you're working for someone else, don't be sour about it. You can literally go out and start your own company anytime you want to if you're willing to take such a huge risk yourself. I salute all of you small business owners out there that are risking it all and providing for all of your employees and their families as well as your own. It's not all sunshine and sailboats, and I know that firsthand. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time.